This morning, more shark sightings on the East Coast. A seven to eight foot shark washing up on Long Island, New York, washed back into the sea, police say, before they could secure it. And another shark bite off a different New York beach yesterday. Can you respond over to the beach to get everybody out of the water? A 16 year old surfer paddling in the water Wednesday near Fire Island was bitten on his right foot. The teen suffering a four inch gash, but able to escape under his own power. He was taken to a local hospital and is expected to make a full recovery. It comes amid a string of shark incidents this summer, including some bites on Long Island. All of a sudden, I feel this. Uh sharp uh, pain and pressure into my hand. And other strange encounters. On Saturday, a Long Island beachgoer said she saw fishermen accidentally catching sharks, the crowd getting them back in the ocean. And on Rockaway Beach in Queens this week, the Rockaway Times reporting a mom seeing this shark in the water during her son's surf lesson. New York's governor taking action this week. We are going to be having more robust patrols on the shorelines. And it's not just New York. As tourists flock to popular summer vacation spots, frightening encounters with these underwater predators are popping up along busy coastlines. We're out at Sawyer Key on a boat. My wife just got bit by a shark. Her leg is bad. Lindsay Bruns is recovering after she was bitten while vacationing in the Florida Keys with her husband. And while shark encounters and sightings might seem to be on the uptick, experts stress that an improved ecosystem is a big reason why. Because it's all the underlying things, the food they eat and their habitat, is the quality's gone up, which has made it better, much better for the sharks. My goodness, and we've touched on this before, but it's an important reminder. What are some basic things that we can all do to avoid even coming across a shark? Yeah, we can't say this enough, especially with so many people seeking relief from the heat um, on such hot days. But a couple of things you can do. First of all, do not swim at dusk and at dawn because that's when sharks tend to feed. Secondly, stay away from murky water. That is also another issue. And if you have a cut and you are bleeding, yeah, that old saw, you know, blood in the water, mm. you don't want to be that blood in the water. Get out of it. Another thing to remember, don't swim swim near schools of fish or if you're on the Cape Cod and the island seals because that's what sharks are really after. Mm. They're not after you. That's good advice. Chanel? Sometimes people see the fish and they kind of want to stand in the middle and watch Don't do it. No. Can't do Don't it. dress up like a seal. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah, good yeah. advice. Take right, your seal you. suit at home. <laughs> so right. what color is your wetsuit? You're a surfer. It's black. I don't take my own advice. Yeah, exactly. You need like a neon Crazy. kind of look. I hope to be back well, yeah. one day soon. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.